how can you ev avoid that someone sees how much is on your UTXOs or on this relevant Bitcoin address? You can't do anything about that. Um, that's exactly the point. Bitcoin is transparent. It's pseudonymous. It's not totally anonymous. So you don't need to connect your ID or your name or your email address to use self-custodial Bitcoin. But um, if you, for instance, uh, send out that Bitcoin address on Twitter and uh, you use your username for Twitter, then everyone knows uh, that you are basically, that this is your Bitcoin address. So you can't avoid that. So there are some privacy things that we all have to consider. And for instance, it's very important to not uh, send your Bitcoin address out on the internet and to always use a new address for a new transaction. So don't reuse a Bitcoin address because what happens is that um, if more people use the same Bitcoin address of yourself, um, then you can see that in the mempool. So all the transactions that are sent to this address you can see the amount received, the total amount received. And it also allows chain analysis companies, surveillance companies basically, to um, find out like through statistical, I don't know how it's called, calculations um, to estimate who is behind this Bitcoin address. And these are all things we don't want. So never reuse an address and don't share your real name uh, with any of your Bitcoin addresses. Hello, my name is Anita Posch, and if you liked that video, please subscribe to my channel now to inspire me to create more content like this. And if you want to learn more about Bitcoin, then sign up for my free weekly Bitcoin newsletter at anita.link/news.